Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Tony Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Let's have a quiet time before God be your mantra of life. Wake up, turn on your phone, and do your quiet time with Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. After receiving the audio, turn to the Tony Point Prayer Booklet. If you subscribe online, it shall be sent to your phone for daily engagement. All committed TPGF members should employ the two to grow their spiritual life. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so now. Welcome also to Tuesday, June 25, 2024. Please open your hand and your heart to receive God God has sent to us today and be responding with Amen. I receive it. I speak to my listeners like these days. Every good thing you have been believing God for shall reach you very soon. Oh yes, you will give a major pleasant surprise testimony here from not far from now. Oh yes, this week will not just be another week. It shall be a special one in your family. Giants will rise from your bow well. If you can touch your forehead gently, please do so. I prophesy innovative ideas, new ideas, Creative ideas shall well up within you. You will do things without struggling. Oh, you will know things without knowing how you knew it. For everyone that is genuinely committed to this commission, this shall be for you a mountain of daily encounter of miracles. Who is this? You lost something very precious to you, or somebody is holding what belongs to you. I prophesy you will see it. God will give you grace for divine remembrance. You will locate what you have lost, you will remember where you have kept it. And if it is someone holding what belongs to you, he shall return it to you. Who is this? Whatever makes anyone or people saying, where is your God? Ah, that thing is changed for you. Just as the fairy furnace could not consume Shedra, Meshach, and Abednego, what consume others will not touch you, We also not touch your children. Can you do this? Let's do this, if you can. If you cannot do this prophetic action immediately now. Receive the prayer all the same. And when it is more convenient for you, please do so. Listeners, dip your index finger in water and make a sign of the cross on your forehead. Yes, use water with your finger to make the sign of a cross on your forehead. And let me pray. I speak over your life. The mark of the cross is on you now. You become a touch not, a have not, too hot to handle for the enemy. That cross marks you out and you become a divine exemption from all evils. You are marked out for blessings, for favor, for support and assistance. Your spirit, soul and body shall no longer suffer from any afflictions. Say amen. Let the water remain and dry up on its own on you. You are now marked crossed marked. Good things shall be attracted to your life. You won't struggle to sell your market, to pass exam, to pass interview, to accomplish all the great things you want to do anymore. God shall make life easy for you and easy for your children. Say amen. I receive it. Yes. Before you go to bed today, something good will drop for you. June 25, celebrant. Open your hand for your prayers. Your bad day is blessed. God shall put you in good people's heart to give you bad day gifts, including precious items and money. You will live long and do well. Say amen. Happy bad day. Now, let's answer some questions. Please listen, learn, and apply. First one, please, sir, at what point should we close our hands whenever you ask us to open our hands in prayers? Wow, when the prayer is over, or when you feel or think you should close the hand. There is no law or rule around this. Close your hand when you want to or when the prayer is over. Whichever one is convenient for you. Next. Good morning, sir. We are the couple daddy talked to yesterday, 22-6-2024. Our names are, I won't mention your name on air. You are Mr. So, 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 and so. Daddy said we should send our names so he can place them on the altar and be praying for us. Daddy described our marriage situation accurately. I was on the verge of walking out of the marriage 
and my wife was also tired of the marriage. But yesterday, we listened to daddy's instruction and daddy can, daddy's counsel. So we decided to yield to wise counsel from God. I love my daddy, sir. Wow. Yes, last Saturday was when that word of knowledge came. That husband and wife that are at loggerhead should humble themselves, reconcile, pray together, and send me their names. I'm happy you yielded. I'm happy for your humility and obedience. I have started praying for you according to your name on my altar. Now you will remain happy together. You will make great progress and live a fulfilled life. Listeners, anytime I say one person or one person I'm saying, it could be hundreds of people or even thousands of them. So if that message was for you also, do what they did. Send me your names and your testimony so that I can be praying for you or for more progress. Next, good morning, sir. For us who attended TPGF conference in London last Friday, pastor did not pray on the items we brought, which he asked us to bring for prayer. Please, can you pray over our items on air now? Some of us couldn't attend the following day, Saturday morning. God bless you, sir. Wow, oh yes. Some people came on Friday evening and couldn't come on Saturday morning. And Saturday was when I prayed over those things they brought. I anointed them and we did so many prophetic actions. Okay, bring those things out and raise them. Other listeners, whether you are in UK conference or not, if you have faith, bring some other items too and raise them up and let me pray. I decree and declare your expectations over those issues shall become signs and wonders. God shall intervene for you quickly and massively. Your prayers shall be answered according to your desires in Jesus' name. Say amen three times. Yes, you will have testimonies. Next, good morning, Daddy. What is your take on couples splitting bills? Wow, I think I have answered this question not too long ago. I think I have. Listeners, help me. Haven't I answered this question here? Please let me know and also the date if I did. If not, I will come back to answer this question. Couples splitting bills. Next, good morning, sir. Thank you for your counsel for us on this platform. I have a question, sir. Is it okay to pray for the forgiveness of sins for everybody when asked to pray for people generally? Thank you, sir. You have been more than a blessing to me and my family. Wow, thank you also for thanking me. And I deeply appreciate all Tony Point TPGF members and listeners who daily receive this hair. Now, prayer for forgiveness generally, all right, but for sins to be forgiven, ideally, the individual person that sinned against God should go before God, repent, have a sincere and deep remorse over the sin, ask for forgiveness, believe God for forgiveness, and make sure the same thing does not repeat itself. God forgives us our sins individually when we are sincere and honest to repent and never to keep repeating the same sins. Next, good morning, Daddy. For the past two years, my sister-in-law of marriageable age has been living with us, but I'm not feeling comfortable with her again in the house. What should I do, sir? Wow. Have a sincere, deep discussion with your husband on this issue. But pray well before that discussion. For God to speak to your husband's heart, for one thing, the lady is his sister. There may be sentiment and even emotionalism. Their parents back home also. It is a difficult situation. But your husband can take a stand in wisdom, resettle his sister somewhere else. It is not advisable to have such grown-up in-laws living together with a couple. 95% of the times, such arrangement will end up in bitter quarrels and separation. Pray. Be wise. Be patient. God will intervene. Next. Good morning, sir. What is your counsel for a man who said to his wife, henceforth, there will no longer be conjugal relationship between the two of them again, but that they will be living together in the same house as housemates. But he goes out with strange women. Wow, something definitely must have gone wrong between the two. The woman should employ warfare prayer strategies as we daily teach it here. 
at the appropriate time as led by the Holy Spirit, he should engage the husband in a deep conversation to find out what actually went wrong. If he's not forthcoming, uh, his mentor, who may be the pastor of both of you, or somebody he greatly respects, can be brought in to mediate. But first thing is prayers for divine intervention. I mean warfare prayers. Listeners, we'll continue from here tomorrow. Please reproduce this to all of your contact. Do so daily. Let what is blessing you bless people connected to you. Tomorrow is the prayer mountain service in our Abuja Center. TPGF members and Tony Point listeners in and around Abuja be there live tomorrow. 12 to 2 p.m. Living Spring Chapel Kado Life Camp after the fish market Abuja. For more inquiries, 0806 133 2800. Thursday is the prayer mountain in Ikeja, Lagos. Two services as usual this Thursday. 7 to 9 a.m. fourth service. 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. second service. Usual venue. Goshen Land, Living Spring Chapel, opposite Allen Avenue Interchange, right beside the road there. Prayer focus on Prayer Mountain this week is bless my bread and my water. Exodus 23, verse 25. Listeners can please read it. Bring bread, biscuit, cake, any food, cook or raw. After that blessing encounter, you take it back home, you eat it, miracle does, healings, and all kinds of good desires will begin to happen. We shall give you anointed mantle for praying and doing miracles free. Same two services we hold in Dominion City, Ibadan, Koloba Abekuta, Oshogbo, Akure, Potakot, Anuyo. It shall be live streamed to the whole world. So connect from wherever you are, get your bread or your food and your water ready for impartation. Yes, please give your tithe and sow your seed, personal tithe and corporate tithe battle, thanksgiving, partnership commitment, and the seed of 6666, we are sowing this sixth month of the year. In July, we will scale it up to 7777. I pray for everyone today, you will do good, you will do well. The glory of God on you will change your story. You will return with great testimony. You are healed if you are sick now. God bless you massively. What God cannot do does not exist, for God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF, answer me. Truly blessed. Bye.